I'm thinking, where would she take Talion? I'm guessing they'd go past Minas Morgul to Asgiliath. Uh, or no, that's Rohan, isn't it? Damn it. Well, where's the closest place to Gondor, then? Oh, wait, no. No. I, I've forgotten. I've forgotten places. But no, I do think Minas Tirith is Gondor, correct? So... Drake. The ring. You told me once when the time came you would do this needed. Italian. Why should I give it? Italian, do not betray the man you were. You speak to me of betrayal. You abandoned me. You and Calibran. You took everything from me. I have fought this war. Alone. Telling you I'm not alone. Uh oh. This he ring is mine. And Talion is no more. I had a feeling that would happen. Right, get away from me, Talion, I'm sorry, but you need to stop. We're back to this then, so this, we have already done this before. Is he summoning the dead? I can't get... Not doing the most amount of damage, but still, he is being a constant threat. Wait, am I hitting him? Yes, I am. Oh, what are you coming? He's coming! Yep. He wouldn't be able to hold on to the ring forever without it corrupting him. I hate the fact I can only hit him for a few hits and then he runs. No. 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 They're back. I'm not going to let this go on, Talion. Oh my god, there's Nazgul! There's four Nazgul! Right, I don't care. They're going. These guys are leaving! Ouch! <laughs> this is chaos! <laughs> Need to heal, quickly. You know what, Talion, at least this fight is... Well, I was going to say fair, but there are four Nazgul. Oh my god. Is there five now? There's five. <sighs> so yeah, about this being fair, it is still somewhat... Ah, oh, there's more of them. Where's Talion? I'm just trying to get these Uruks away from me, to be honest. <gasps> Broken! Huh. Oh. oh, he's gone. That's another one. What? I downed him?
banished from death and bound to the flaming eye. <laughs> Not gonna stop her from trying. That was Elitario seeing everything. Your work here is done. We will go into the West. Not yet. In the years that followed, Elitario continued to fight the forces of darkness. Okay. She travelled east, and she returned to Mordor many times. Precious. She witnessed the fall of Barad-dûr and the escape of Celebrimbor. I shut up all the Hydea Towers in Gorgoroth, I believe. He calls to you. I will follow his call. Okay. Final achievement of the time has come. Witness the end of Elatario's path. Here's my question: Why was that so cliff end, cl cliff ender like? I, I don't get it. Is there any reason why a DLC to a game, which probably I don't know if it's going to have any more sequel, well, any more games after this? But why was that so? Why did it end on such a cliffhanger? That's the word I was looking for. But I I don't get it. You know, I. Do not get it. But yeah, that is the Blade of Galadriel DLC. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I'm not going to be back to. Sh we're yeah. I'm not going to come back to Middle Earth Shadow of War until the final DLC drops, The Desolation of Mordor, which apparently we're going to be playing as Baranor in that one, which could be interesting. I've heard some interesting things about that DLC. But yeah, as far as I'd say about this one, the gameplay was extremely fun. Other than that one time. Um, the idea of the... I, I don't know. I guess it was relatively lengthy for a DLC. And it did fill in that gap that I wanted. To see Talion's descent into a Nazgul. And what actually effect that had on him. So it filled that bit in the story. But. Why is it on a cliffhanger for a DLC? That's the only thing that's really bothering me. I don't get that. But what I do know is this is the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care guys, and goodbye.